Well, in just one week, two humpback whales have washed ashore in the Outer Banks. The first ended up near the Oregon Inlet last Monday. Another was found yesterday stranded on the beach in Kerala. Ten on your side's Kayla Gaskins is looking into why this is happening. We're in Kerala, where a humpback whale washed up onto the beach yesterday morning. Today, crews are out here, and they've been working for hours to try to figure out how this animal died and also what to do with it next. 33 feet long and very, very heavy. Early Sunday morning, the body of a deceased humpback whale washed up on the beach in Kerala. Today, crews from the Outer Banks Mammal Marine Stranding Network got to work. First order of business, how did the whale die? As we've gotten inside, it's really been a lot more decomposed than we really kind of anticipated to see. The full necropsy should provide that answer, but the teams have found some clues. So we just uh, took off the blubber on the other side. We did find uh, some bruising underneath the blubber surface, so it's possible that um, it could have had some sort of trauma to its side. An early investigation has identified the whale as a male juvenile, possibly a 2017 calf. This is the second humpback whale washed up on the sands of the Outer Banks this week. Last Monday, another juvenile male was spotted off Jeanette's Pier, eventually washing up near Oregon Inlet. So in our region, you know, we typically get two or three in a year. And, um, you know, we're in February and we've had uh, two already here in North Carolina. So, um, so the numbers are a little bit higher than we normally get. And they can't just leave decomposing whales on the beach. So today, Karen Clark and her team divided the animal into smaller pieces before burying it deep in the sand. The whole site caused quite a crowd. In Kerala, I'm Kayla Gaskins, 10 on your side. Now coming up at 630 on Fox 43, hear reaction from the crowd gathered on the beach today in Kerala.